Super Smash Bros. is a fantastic melting pot of video games from all around the industry, with characters crossing genres and even companies in order to battle it out and represent their various franchises. However, what always gets me the most excited is the new music that comes with each game. The list of songs in Smash is growing every few months, rocketing its way to a thousand tracks many of them remixes, whether they be from the original composer or, more excitingly, from a composer known for working on a completely different franchise. In this video series, we're going to cover every composer that has contributed a remix to the Super Smash Bros. series, briefly covering their history and what they are mainly known for outside of Smash. And there are a lot of them, so we'd better get started. The son of a horn player and a flautist, Soshi Abe is a graduate of the Tokyo University of the Arts and a fairly new hire in Nintendo's sound department. His debut work was on the Champion's Ballad expansion pass for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and he most recently worked on the soundtrack for Dr. Kawashima's brain training for Nintendo Switch. As he is a new hire to the company, Abe's only work in regards to Smash has been within Ultimate, where he contributed two remixes. The standout between the two, in my opinion, is his remix of the Steven Battle battle theme from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Ace is a duo act formed by Tomori Kudo and Hiroyo Yamanaka, or better known by her stage name, Chiko. Kudo began his music career early, being made to take piano and electone lessons starting in kindergarten and moving on to the guitar upon entering high school. Chiko, despite a fascination with the piano as a child due to her sisters being heavily involved in music lessons, actually began as an actress and assistant choreographer for a theater company. She would wind up going down the path of music after spending too much time browsing the lists of songs for people to dance to, and deciding it would be much easier if she just made the music herself. This eventually led her to becoming a vocalist in a band alongside Kudo. At a certain point, this band's agency offered them the chance to do music for a video game, and they accepted the gig. Their debut game project as Ace was for Bandai's Tamagotchi 64 Mina de Tamagotchi World in 1997. From there, they would go on to compose for games like Bomberman 64 The Second Attack in 1999, as well as Code of Princess and Fantasy Life in 2012. However, Ace is most well-known nowadays for their work on Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 alongside fellow composer Kenji Hiramatsu under the name Ace Plus. Ace first joined the Smash composition team with Wii U and 3DS, where they contributed three remixes, including a Xenoblade Chronicles medley done as Ace Plus. They would return to Ultimate to contribute four remixes at launch, the standout of which is hands down their remix of Gangplank Gallium from Donkey Kong Country, which was used in the announcement trailer for King K. Rule. They most recently provided an arrangement of Beneath the Mask from Persona 5 alongside the addition of Joker. Where have you been? Been searching all along. Give us a toilet long and long. Without a clue. Without a sign. Without a grasping yet. The real question. 
question to be asked Where have I been? I'm a chef chauffeur At this masquerade Hiding both face and mind A free for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur Hirokazu Ando entered the industry in 1991 when he joined HAL Laboratory as a composer, where his debut game was the 3D shooter Hyperzone for the SNES. From there, he would become one of the main composers and sound engineers behind the Kirby franchise, starting with Kirby's Adventure in 1993 and continuing all the way into modern day with Super Kirby Clash in 2019. He's also more recently served on the sound team for the Box Boy series, as well as several smaller HAL Laboratory titles. Most importantly, however, Ando is the composer whose music has been with Smash for longer than any other person on this entire list, with him serving as the sole composer for the original Super Smash Bros. in 1999 remixing one song from all but two of the represented franchises, seven remixes in total, including Gourmet Race from Kirby Superstar. later, he would go on to serve as the sound and music director for Super Smash Bros. Melee in 2001, where he contributed 12 more remixes, a standout of which is his take on the athletic theme from Super Mario World. However, he seemingly hasn't contributed any remixes to Smash since. Yoshino Aoki began music lessons on the piano, flute, and synthesizer at varying stages of her childhood. After attending college in hopes of breaking into the music industry, she wound up at Capcom in 1996, where she began her career by helping arrange for the official release for the Mega Man X3 soundtrack. From there, she would go on to make her full debut with Breath of Fire 3 in 1997 and Breath of Fire 4 in 2000. She would also work on various Mega Man spin-off franchises, such as Mega Man Battle Network 2, 3, 5, and 6, as well as all three titles in the Mega Man Star Force series. In 2007, she left Capcom to co-found the studio Unique Note alongside her now husband, Tetsuya Shibata. Most recently, outside of Smash, she was a contributor to the soundtrack of Final Fantasy XV. She joined the Smash composition team with Ultimate, contributing two remixes, including her take on the main theme from Breath of the Wild. Yasushi Asada began playing the guitar in elementary school, and by the time he had hit high school, he was already making his own compositions. He's mostly self-taught, though after graduating university, he attended a music vocational school in order to sharpen his skills. He was eventually able to break into games, with his first major and most well-known project being the 2008 Wii fighting game Castlevania Judgment. He has also provided guitar performances for several game and anime soundtracks. He joined the composition team with Ultimate, contributing a whopping five remixes, my favorite of which is his take on Out of Time from Castlevania.
he returned to provide two more remixes that were added alongside Terry Bogard, including a remix of Gaia from Samurai Showdown. Atsuko Asahi began working for Nintendo in 2010, where she made her debut with the soundtrack of Steel Diver for the 3DS. From there, she has worked on several high-profile titles for the company, including Animal Crossing New Leaf, Pikmin 3, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, Mario Kart 8, ARMS, and most recently, Super Mario Maker 2. She also provides the voices of Brittany and the winged Pikmin in Pikmin 3. She only served on the composition team for Wii U and 3DS, where she contributed three remixes, a standout of which is her remix of Cloud Top Cruise from Mario Kart 8. In Romaji, Masato Koda's real family name is spelled K-O-U-D-A, however throughout his career he has gone by variations of the spelling, including K-O-D-A and K-O-H-D-A, and in Smash specifically, he's credited as C-O-D-A. Koda joined Capcom's sound team in 1994, where he began his career with the arcade game Cyberbot's Full Metal Madness. From there, he would go on to contribute to games such as Darkstalkers 3 and Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes. He would truly make a name for himself in 2001 with his contributions to the soundtrack of Devil May Cry, returning as the main composer for its ill-fated sequel in 2003. In 2004, he would serve as one of the composers behind Monster Hunter for the PS2, a series he would continue to contribute to for the next four years. In 2003, Koda left Capcom and began to contribute to the Wild Arms series, starting with the fourth installment in 2005. In 2007, he founded a new studio called Design Wave alongside three other ex-Capcom composers. He continues to contribute to the soundtracks of various titles, such as The Wonderful 101 and Fire Emblem Fates. Koda has been part of the Smash composition team since Brawl, where he was responsible for two remixes, including an arrangement of Humoresque of a Little Dog from the Mother series. He would return for 3DS and Wii U, where he would contribute four total songs, such as a remix of the Bath Time theme from Nintendogs. In Ultimate, he would only return with one remix, an arrangement of Lost in Thoughts All Alone from Fire Emblem Fates.
One of two Western composers on this list, for many years Toby Fox was more well known by the name Flug Radiation. He's a self-taught musician and game developer who is famous nowadays for his game Undertale, which released to massive success in September of 2015. He got his start making ROM hacks of Earthbound as well as doing work for the popular webcomic Homestuck. His one remix in Smash is of his song Megalovania from Undertale, which was included with the purchase of a Mii costume based on the character Sans. Megalovania was originally written for an Earthbound hack, but only reached wide critical acclaim when it accompanied the hardest boss in Undertale. This gives it the distinction of being the first song from a fan work to ever be included in Super Smash Bros. Jun Fukuda is a self-taught guitarist who didn't join the games industry until he was in his 30s, having worked in construction before then. In 2004, Fukuda joined the sound department at Grasshopper, where he would work on the soundtracks for games like Killer7, No More Heroes 1 and 2, and Lollipop Chainsaw. He is also partly responsible for the soundtrack of Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles for the Wii. Fukuda was only part of the Smash composition team during Brawl, where he contributed one song himself, an arrangement of Butter Building from Kirby's Adventure. He is also credited as providing the vocals for the Japanese version of Masafumi Takata's arrangement of Mike's song from Warrior Wear Touched. Yasufumi Fukuda began his career working for the company Microcabin in the early 1990s. However, he would go freelance when Microcabin would leave the games industry in 2000. He has since done work on games for several well-known companies, such as Harvest Moon Animal Parade for Marvelous Interactive, Ace Attorney Investigations for Capcom, as well as Sonic Generations and Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games for Sega. Yasufumi Fukuda was also only on the composition team for Brawl, though he contributed three songs, including his absolutely rocking take on Mute City from F-Zero. That's all for now, but believe me, we still have a lot of ground to cover. Special thanks to Peter Spasia for research assistance. If you're just stumbling on this video, give the channel a follow so you're ready when the next part comes out. We have plenty of music to talk about and all the time in the world to do so, so I'll see you next time for another stretch of composers from Ryo Hamamoto to Yasuaki Iwata. Stay tuned!